my 10 year old self. Darling. What is up, happy family? It's your girl Smiley here, and we're back with another video. So, to my 10 year old self, we're just gonna get right into it. Um, you better have accomplished something by now. And 10 years ago, if you still in the same position I am right now, without a job, no car, girl, just kill yourself. Okay, maybe not kill yourself. But I'm highly disappointed. If you you, you could just literally make a sandwich and go give it to some, get somebody that's homeless. You better be progressing some type of life. You know you want to be an actress and be rich, your own damn self. But you know at the same time you want to help people become successful in their own life. So you better have been progressing that life. Even if it's just giving food to homeless people or something. Giving them a nice day with a bath or a hotel. You better have done something, girl. Something. You better have went to some acting classes or whatever career you decide to be in because girl you can do it all. It don't really fucking matter what anybody else got a motherfucker say. You better have done something. Something bitch. Something bitch. <sighs> Anyways, I'm already annoyed with, with myself. Um, but if it is taking longer, if you're trying and it's just been harder than you thought it was, then don't give up. If you're 31 years old, like, people say you can't be at just 18 because you have to be older and you're 31 years old and you're still struggling. Do not give up. I know it's probably hard if you're 31 years old and you're still not making it. I know you're probably depressed as shit. But don't give up. Never, ever give up. Like, my passion is barely growing right now and I'm 21 years old. 21st birthday was two days ago. The father of the greatest to say can't. Cannot be in a man's vocabulary or a woman's, like a human being vocabulary because it's disgusting. Like, who says can't? Bitch, you can do whatever you want to do. And you don't need to be with anybody who sees it away. If it's a spouse, family member, friends, if they don't see it, they trying to make you realize that your dream isn't true, then they gotta go. You can do whatever the fuck you want to do. If you wanted to, like, jump to the moon, not get a rocket, but, like, literally jump to the moon bitch you better jump to that motherfucking mom you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and if they don't remind you nobody else reminds you that i'm gonna remind you okay <laughs> i hope that you are way more sure about your life than you are now because right now your mind is just all over the motherfucking place i hope you know what you're doing you're grinding you're doing the damn shit and that's it I hope you are just way more sure because right now i don't know what the fuck i'm about to do i just know what i like, would like to do I don't hope you already progress your life, like you living in the life that you wanted to live. You know what I'm saying? Again, that's kind of like repeating myself a little key. Okay, I want you to show me all your kids on the screen. Because right now you should have at least two. I know you for sure have one by now, unless you have like fertility problem. But you should have at least one. I know you have at least one. And I'm pretty sure you would have two. Hey kids! This is your mom. Um, and August 16, 2018. How are you guys doing? Okay. Last video, girl. Now, you know damn well you you want to adopt one or two kids. I know you want to have two out yourself kids and two adopted kids, but I know that might change. But either way, you still need to adopt one kid. We don't need to, but you should. Because you know damn well your dream is to adopt at least two kids but adopt at least one kid and um give them a better life show them what they've never seen before like I've, you know you've seen so many videos on youtube that's like my daughter trying to change my life i was growing up without food and like a place to sleep it was like one person and like i mean one bedroom and like 15 people living there you know what i'm saying maybe they're abused physically sexually mentally you know give them something you know about it because then you know it don't matter about them Girl, where are you living now? 
I know I'm only here until like August or June of next year if I'm making that far. Um, but right now you live in Hawaii and where you live now. Anyways, it don't matter on the race, it don't matter on the gender, it don't matter on their age, as long as they're not like 17, because when they turn 18, they're gonna leave you as. Um, unless they're like your kids, your friend's kid or something like that. But, um, I just adopt them. You know you want to, just do it. Uh, I'll give a whole speech on why I want to adopt. Maybe I should make that in a video. Ooh, video recommendation. See this how you become a YouTuber? Anyways, um, oh, right now I want to like help people through a new channel. Like this is my Smiley's life. Eventually, once I get big from Smiley's life, like my goal isn't like a lot of people's goal nowadays on YouTube is just to sit at home and make videos and get money and get a paycheck in the mail. Like that's great, you know. But my video, my main plan with YouTube is to get big and get money, but not just to do that. I want to get to get big and to get money, so I can like I want to get money so that way I can afford to help people. And I want to get big so I have a platform to encourage people to help people. So one of my dreams with YouTube is I want after I get a little bigger, not a little, a lot bigger, I want to make a separate YouTube channel named The Happy Family. Again, if you're on the happy family, it's link will be down in the description. But um and I'm just showing there like me helping homeless people and helping like girls, maybe going to Haiti or going like to it's not the D like low denominate um I don't know what it's called. Like it's poor countries and just like helping people, like just the whole thing. I don't know if it's gonna be a business. Yeah, I want a business where I'm like in like Africa or something and helping like with free health care and food and water and stuff like that. Or just going for her. Um, so in ten years I hope that that dream is coming to life. Cause you know you feel passionate about that. You know you've always wanted to help people so I doubt that passion just went away. Don't if you if you are like looking at my screen right now and you have a nice ass house a nice ass car, congratulations. But if you have not like helped anybody and bring anything back, then you know like bad karma's coming back to you. When when so, you were raised in church where when you get up you help somebody else get up or bad karma's gonna come back to you. Like I don't know how to explain it, it doesn't sound like karma the way I'm explaining it. But if you like have to knock somebody down to get up, then you're gonna get knocked down. Like you are not gonna stay up. When you help God's people, God would help you. You know what I'm saying? So, um, the yes, we have a personal life and we have a business life. The personal life, girl, you want that Ferrari because you know when Safari made a when Safari finally gets a Ferrari, you know she's have made it. So if you made that dream, check. If you made the big house, check. You know what I'm saying? If you got a nice like I don't know, make lines or something, check. But do not lose, do not gain the world and lose yourself. You need to get back to the community and to life and everything above. You know what I'm saying? If you have forgot about it, you know, you are forgiven. I, I forgive you. But it's time to make some moves. Now, if you have if you have got, gained the world and gained yourself and you like you helping people and you rich and you doing the damn thing, girl. Give me a high five to the screen. Yeah. Cause that's you know that's the ultimate goal. Like you know that like, you want the nice house and car, but you know you want to help people at the same time. Like if you become successful, you help other people become successful. And that's the message that I really want to preach to people. Is yes, I want to become become successful off of YouTube or just successful period. But I still want to give back at the same time. But I do have to become successful before I give back because there's certain things in my head that I want to do that I'm not gonna actually put on YouTube yet. Um, you know what you want to do. I doubt that dream is just gonna fade away. Um, but that's just the journey of I want to. I want to be successful and help other people. After that, I gotta have money and followers to do that. So that's why you watching this video on YouTube. Oh wow, it's about to get deep. Okay, but I can't get that deep because I'm already so emotional. So if you guys don't know that my sister. Um, was 26 and she passed away in June from heart failure. Um, her birthday was August 1st, so it's been so all the emotions are still like, oh, I don't even want to talk about that. 
But um, if you if girl, if you have any more deaths in your family, know that I'm not about to get emotional in this video. I'm not about to get emotional in this video. Know that they are okay, and they are like eating grapes in heaven with wine, girl. They sleeping with Jesus, girl. Yes, and looking down at you, and they're like, "Why is she crying?" When I'm happy, why is she crying? When I'm partying, like, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, your sister, like, is not going through any more pain or suffering or needles or heart transplants or heart attacks or strokes or sickness. Like, you know, my voice is trying to drop because I'm about to get emotional. That whoever you lost, from this point on is better. Fuck the world. You know what I'm saying? Earth is some bullshit. Earth is just bullshit. You know there ain't no health problems in heaven, my G. You need to worry about you getting to heaven. Okay, now let's do this next part. And this the next part is Oh, and people in heaven are always gonna be your number one supporter. Cause if we look it down, they're gonna be like, go girl, go girl, go go. Uh, go uh, Okay, stop. Um, now, this is to my family. If I myself passed away, that's kind of sad to think about. But um, I just want you to know, like everything I just said about me being okay with family members, it's the same way I feel. Like I'm looking out for y'all. I'm y'all's number one supporter. Be happy, cause I'm happy, girl. I don't have to worry about earth. I don't gotta worry about no. Uh, what is it called? End of the world, Antichrist coming back type shit. Like, no. I'm okay. But y'all need to make sure y'all okay. I want y'all to join me. Not today. Well, you know, we don't kill ourselves because you ain't gonna be joining me. You be going to a whole different place. But I want you to know that I'm okay, girl. I'm good. I'm good. You know, I don't even really want to be on earth right now. <laughs> I'd rather be in heaven dealing with no rent bills. Not worry about no poverty, no bullshit, you no know, end of the world, like, girl, I, I, girl, I'm dead, girl, girl, I'm happy, okay, I keep saying girl, but I mean, just talking to boys and girls, so don't even worry about me, I'm looking down, you, you worrying about me, and I'm worrying about you, okay, you need to get to where I am, where's that, where's that God's song, uh, and they tell me I'm a sister, so it's, um, it goes to one of you, and that's true, like, I know y'all want to be where I'm at because I'm lit. Just know that I'm lit. Like, I might be, and I might be, yeah, if, I, if, I have, if I have any say, I'm definitely going to come back and start fucking with y'all. Because you know, it's just my emotions. You know, I'm just crazy. Shit. It might be like some y'all be thinking it's supposed to catch him for me just like going to tear or something. It's like if someone says my name, I'll be like, hey! Whatever y'all can't hear me, so I, I don't know. I'll be the only chair. They ain't on some little shows. Y'all know me. Maybe some shit I would do. Y'all it's probably me. I'll let you know if it's me. If it's like weird and you feel creepy, I don't know if it's gonna be me. Because you know demons be trying to get you to like be comfortable with them so they like, try to get you in the form of your family members image and stuff. Y'all would know if you feel some type of holiness, because usually if I, I'm probably not even gonna be this crazy in heaven. So I'm gonna be happy with peace. I'm probably gonna come down like angels, like, you don't have to worry. Everything is great. Sit down with it. Yeah. You know, I'll probably be so much at peace. So if you don't feel at peace when I do something, or you don't feel like you're laughing or something. If you feel kind of freaked out or scared, it probably made me. Girl, call it exorcist. So holy low. All over the doors. Windows. Girl. Everywhere. 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 It ain't me. Okay. And one thing. The last thing. Is if my nails are cute. Because <laughs> I know they're okay for like. um For right now. Like as of August 16, 2018. But are like are they cute in August 16th, um, 
2028. Wow! I guess it's still 2020. Like, are they still cute? Or are they like, what the fuck? Because you know, style will be changing and shit. What you think? What you think? What you think? What you think? Oh, and if you had like a car crash, smiling, and you don't look the same way, or if you get some wrinkles, or if you already grow some gray hair, girl, you're still cute. Just like, you know, you look still cute, bitch. If you got some scars, or you burnt, burnt marks or something, girl, you're still cute. Okay, that's all I have to say. And last but not least, I hope that you are happy. If you are alive, girl, I hope that you are happy and living life. You know, like I said, I always say I want to live life at the Paul, doing whatever the fuck I want to do, just have, making money for doing absolutely nothing. He be playing Fortnite, which is like a computer game, and like making vlogs when he's doing stupid shit. And so I was stupid. Everybody's like, why are people condoning this? Like, that's what I want to live. Making money for not doing shit. What I do with the money is going to be helping people. But, like, and getting a nice car, car, make sure my kids is good, you know, so I trust myself, you know, you know. But, um, girl, you happy, girl? Fuck. Like, give me another high five. But my name is Mike. <laughs> give me another high five. My name is Mike. And thank you guys for watching this video. If you are in the happy family, thank you. I love you. We make a difference in the world. If you want to the happy family is, the link will be down in the description. Now, so how do you join the happy family? So to join the happy family, you're going to subscribe. You're going to post the notification bell so I'm still notified every time I post. So we can spread happiness and love to the world. That was so corny. Okay. Um, but above everything I'm telling you right now, I want you guys to be happy. I don't care if you black, white, Asian, Chinese, purple, green, I don't know, Cambodian, just be happy. Have a happy life. Do not spread negativity, racist shit. Just be happy. Live life to your absolute bliss. I don't care if y'all live it by your damn self. If they don't support you in your dreams and what you want to do. The door, the balcony, the something, girl. Nobody go damn. And my name is Smiley. Six questions in here. And I'm out. Come on.